Sweating bullets, but we made it. Sorry, I don't even know what type of footage I got going through the airport because I was so worried about making out the flight. But we made it. Yo, this thing comes off. Yo, I'm gonna get some cute little cinematic shots. Okay, period. Hey, put your phone in airplane mode. Man, fuck that nigga. You gonna crash? <laughs> My gosh. Anyways, I'll update y'all when the flight takes off. Currently 5:38. Takeoff is at six. Partly cloudy skies. Temperature 78 degrees with uh, light and very in just a few minutes, our flight attendants will give you a very important safety briefing. We ask that you give them your undivided attention, critical information. Are you fully enabled to assist in the event of an emergency at this exit? I need verbal confirmation one at a time. Yes. Yes. Exit seat criteria. boyfriend is still sleeping i didn't vlog when we got here last night because it was kind of a lot honestly we just came in the hotel room chill we watched netflix and i knocked out <laughs> pretty much i'll give y'all a room tour maybe later right now he's still sleeping i'm trying to be quiet but i've just been getting some editing done while i have this downtime i don't know when i will have downtime later Editing. trying to get this done this video is going to go up on sunday and today is thursday so i have plenty of time but i don't know when i'm gonna have time to actually sit down and do it and have my laptop with me so i'm just doing it now probably end up finishing it to be honest and i'll try and schedule it to go ahead and go up on time on sunday it's currently 10 56 and i'm just chilling yeah so I'm about to sit here and do this. Not anything eventful, but I mean, if you want to watch, you can. Watch. I don't know if I'm gonna focus or not. We're on the way to Target because I forgot to bring some bobby pins for my hair. So we're going to Target. The hotel is right behind the Target. So we have to start getting ready to go to the wedding. We have to be ready by two at 11.21. Feels really good outside today though. Also, I might get a swimsuit because there's a pool at the hotel. I'd like to go swimming if possible. So I might grab one really fast. Only thing Target swimsuits are expensive. It just depends on how cute it is. These are like 20, the bottoms are 17. I can't fit a double D. It's too big, right? Yeah. Excuse me. Do you know if there's any more bobby pins over there? Yeah. That's where it would be. Okay. Remember to grab your receipt. Over. Over here. Hello. Buying everything like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's I swear on everything I love. Just got out of Target and I just spent way more than I was expecting to spend. I went in there for some bobby pins, spent like five dollars mat, came out spending fifty-five. Now we're heading back. We all have to shower and start getting ready. I have to do my hair and my makeup, so I should probably shower first, huh? Yeah. But yeah, we're heading back time to get killed because <laughs> this ain't working no more i feel like i haven't worn makeup in like days i'll catch y'all i guess maybe when i'm like doing my makeup or something so y'all okay brad <laughs> Brad, you want to record? 
Oh, it was all me. She said you were missing. No, it was like, I was like, oh, record that, bruh. It's like a older one, huh? Like, who is this girl recording?
right guys, so it's like way later since the last time I updated you guys. The wedding has happened. We're at this beautiful place. I got multiple clips of the wedding and everything, but you take us to pictures. I haven't like, huh? You take us to pictures. Okay, hold on, I have to take pictures. Good morning guys. It is currently 11.21. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog too, too much yesterday, but we were at a wedding, respectful and like living in the moment, okay? Can we shout out to the bride and groom? real fast my camera has been acting so weird when it comes to focusing lately that's the bride and groom we are about to get ready to go to the beach so i just put on my swimsuit that i bought yesterday around target and i'll show you really fast because it's really cute okay so here is the swimsuit is this not literally one of the cutest swimsuits you have ever seen the top i'm sorry the lighting's kind of weird there we go the top is like ruched right here which i think is just like so sexy and the way that it like it's cut really pretty and then these are just high-waisted bottoms. They're the only ones that I really saw that match the top. Yeah, get into it, okay? And Yo, I'm so sorry. The audio is probably trash. My mic wasn't plugged in. I just realized. Wow. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me now. Yeah, so I just got up and got ready. My boyfriend is already ready. He just went to someone else's room really fast. I also wanted to show you guys the room really fast while I have the chance. We'll do that right now. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. We low-key came in and trashed it last night when we came back in from the wedding. This is what you see when you first walk in to the room. If you go to your left, there's a closet here that is like so cute it's like a wardrobe and it has drawers a safe shelving all of that super cute and the lights are like automatic so as soon as you open it it turns on then if you go to the right from the front door it's the bathroom which is kind of messy right now this mirror which is so gorgeous and the lights on it are so cute you turn over here toilet the shower comes with a bench yeah so here's the bathroom the bathroom is like actually pretty spacious pretty pretty darn big if you ask me well, that's the bathroom you have the fridge which is empty fridge that is empty oh we have a bottle of cranberry juice you continue over it comes with the stove just super cool it comes with utensils i believe there's like down here there's pots and pans this is a dishwasher that has dishes in it a microwave some more dishes and like a whole bunch of cabinetry all right so then you have the shades here that you can actually move and change with this which i think is super cool yeah, and then while that's going up, I just have my suitcase in the corner and he has some shorts. This is just like stuff that I have thrown about everywhere. Don't worry about that. But this is a couch. I'm pretty sure this is a pullout. I'm not positive. We have the desk area, which is a mess as well. And then a TV. This is actually a nice size TV for a hotel. Y'all know hotels be given the smallest TVs, but this is actually a pretty big size. There's this cute art on the wall. It's kind of crooked. I tried to fix it so many times. It's just not. It was like that when we came in so don't don't do me here is the back wall that has the bed on it i think this is so cute the little light fixtures and then there's two nightstands on either side and then here's the bed obviously nice size bed there is this bar over here i think this is also really nice and convenient to have it also has stools here and this other table and that's the room i'll give you a quick scan of everything it is so pretty but my boyfriend actually just left he went well not just left but he left and went to target to pick up some shorts or some swim trunks for his brother so he can go with us to the beach and a lot of people are coming actually um now it started with a small group and just expanded from there which i mean i'm always down with the party and yeah so right now i'm actually about to kind of just clean up a bit get this back in order then i will come back and update you guys probably when we're like heading out to the beach maybe um i need to put on some shorts i want to put in my my contact so I can take some shades and yeah I'll update you guys a little bit later Probably really windy. I don't know if you can hear me, but we made it to the beach. 414. It's actually kind of cold. I'm scared. The sand feels really good on my feet. They sacrificed in their house. Are you guys going to stay 
right here. Forgot my lens cap, so hopefully nothing gets in my camera. Y'all, it is so cold in that water. I have to come back and take a break. I was in there for a good minute, okay? Give me my credit. But it got too cold for me, and the salt got in my eyes. A big old wave hit me in the face, and so I wanted to take a break. Look, these waves are mad crazy, okay? Like, they're not playing no games. Let me see if I can catch a big wave for y'all, because they get pretty darn big, and they don't even care. A little toast. Like, imagine if you were just up on shore, like, you would be freaking demolished. Isn't it crazy how beautiful beaches are, though? These huge bodies of water, like, just looking at this, they're just so beautiful. Like, endless water, sky touches the water. It's crazy. Y'all see those waves, though? How they just keep eating them alive? Look, they just be gone under poor little Brad and Quincy because they just, those waves keep swallowing them. Look at, oh my God, took all three of them. Yeah, but it's crazy. But yeah, so here's what I'm looking like now. My hair got wet. Might be able to salvage it since it was pulled so tightly into the top knot. It may not curl up too much, but we'll see. Now I'm probably just gonna have to wash my hair and wear it curly, which my boyfriend is actually really excited about because it's been a minute since he's wearing his fingers in my curls. I'm just chilling right now because I just needed a break. Just chill. And I wanted to vlog for you guys. But it's like check the weather. I think it's like 79 or something like that outside. Oh, these birds are not playing. Oh, I thought I seen some land on me. 75 degrees. It's hella windy, which is why I think it's also super cold. But I just wanted to update y'all really fast. At six. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have got that on camera. They just ate it. I'll update y'all later, I guess. The tide is getting pretty dang. Oh, I just realized my mic was turned around. So y'all probably couldn't even hear me that great just a second ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, the wind is like literally blowing back. Y'all, they're getting demolished. Look, Gary on his app out. Yo, those waves are getting big. Back to back. Are you gonna sit down? Yo, they're crazy. The white one, blue towel. They just very quincy. He's living the good life. Apparently it's warm. Now Brad is about to be buried. Oh, it's zoomed in on my face. There's sand all on my lens. My heart's been so fast. The tide was coming in too hot, so they came back in, and they joined the party. It feels good, though. I updated y'all was two days ago. Yeah, I didn't really vlog that much yesterday, but we didn't really do that much yesterday. We just went to a barbecue and that was it. Today we are at the mall. It is currently 3.58. The boys are in the bathroom. I'm here with my boyfriend and Quincy. So they're both in the bathroom. We literally just walked in the door. This is a big mall, like huge. They have like full size stores in here, like Home Depot, we have a full Target. So now we're about, we have a 7-Eleven in here. I actually am kind of hungry. We're in the 7-Eleven. There's a whole 7-Eleven in the mall. This is actually my first time at a 7-Eleven. Oh, they got slushies, yo. Sorry, I forgot my my um, camera at the hotel. I didn't even explain. Vlogging on my boyfriend's phone now. I want that blue raspberry guy. Oh, tell me what that one tastes like, though. There's a Phantom Mystery flavor. <gasps> Pina Colada. No, let me taste you. Yo, I've been craving a donut. Though. I've been craving a donut. Taste test. Oh, this camera makes me look like tin cans of bounce that butt. Yo, this butt's gonna try a win. Mmm. Dang, you are craving a donut. I don't really want 
she fell down. Oh, she fell down the stairs. Hmm? She fell down the stairs. Who fell? Yeah, my mom. Or like the floor. Morgan. <coughs> Are you choking? No, it's cold. Don't scare me like that. Because mm. at least I have a dog. Yo, big ass head. Yo, that's mad crazy. Yo, look how freaking big this small is. Like, what? That's crazy. Guys, there's a Ferris wheel, a whole freaking Ferris wheel in the mall. Crazy. So we are back at the hotel. <laughs> we're all eating. I got some sesame chicken. Why does that look so good on camera? It's actually kind of busting. That's it. Blushing, blushing. Okay. And they're all too. I think he's kind of stressed out. He looks a little stressed. Why do you keep zooming in on me? But yeah, back on the cam. I'm finna eat because it's actually good. Alright, okay, it's back. Get out my seat, Mo. I'm the, I'm the YouTuber. Anyways, camera died. Had to change the battery. We got the chips in the thing. You gotta put it in the tab thing. Oh, what that look like? Okay, first let's try chip by itself. I already tried it. You did? What does it taste like? It tastes like regular Dorito. Yo, why can't it taste stale? It does. It's probably been there for years. Now we getting it with the dip. It's sweet. Yo, I thought these was going to bust, but. Try right with this. It's like rank. Yeah, it kind of does taste oh, like rank. Like yeah. Yo, this is kind of trash. It is trash. Yo, come try it, Quincy. Oh, you got just the numbers. Zero, oh. zero out of ten. Oh, how do you know? I, I give it a... A two. A two? What yeah. game is this? I'll give it like a three. I got five. What do you mean? Do you even taste they it? They taste like, sauce? yeah, he dipped it in. Babe, you want to taste it? Hold on. Like okay, we'll save that like for him. Okay, hopefully this oh, one tastes good. better because the other the other one's been kind of trash, okay? This one is oh, barbecue pork lays from, it doesn't say it where. Looks, it looks like it's busting though. I don't know where it's from though. Oh, these are from Thailand. Oh, this bag is thick though, but it seems like a lot of it's gonna be air. They they definitely carry the Lay's tactic across the world. Yo, I don't know what it smells like. I don't think it smells like it's barbecue. It kind of smells like meaty though. It does kind of smell meaty, but it doesn't smell like barbecue. All right, let's try this one. Um, kill street. Yeah. If you got a kill streak, go. Yeah, I think he's gonna go out with it. You know him. <laughs> I want to hurry up. <laughs> yo, yo, Quincy, smell this. Mm, this smells like, um, I don't know. It's really good. I get you know those, like, circle, not circle, half circle things, those fritz something. What? Taste this. Seven. Yeah, this one kind of buzzed. So I give it a 7.5. The smell. It smells like a burger. No, oh, it it's smells heavy. weird, but it def it tastes like meat. I give it like a an eight. Mix it with this. Yeah. The sauce trash, right? Yo, you suck. Girl. You like it? It's straight. It tastes like. It's sweet though. Wow. Well, he good. like it. I don't they like lying. This is good. Nah. You know what? It tastes like dry ramen noodles. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You Not bust. I recommend these out of the three. The other two. Trash. These taste like regular Doritos. This is kind of <laughs> spicy. Yeah. This. Oh, he's choking. <laughs> and this one. Trash. Don't get it. I paid. Oh. 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 <laughs> he needs some milk. Technical difficulties. No way that Then he died. He died. <laughs> yo, he died. Yo, hold on. He not showing it. He lost. He, oh my. Hey, yo. Quincy. <laughs> yo, this dude is wilding. I paid like $22 for all three. Oh, babe. I didn't think he was going to tumble over. Oh my God. I don't like them. These are good though. Yo, yo, they're about. Hey, hey, hey. Don't I'm... put it too hot. You put it down? No, I put it back on fast. Put it to 67. They're playing the game. I'll get y'all later. Kevin, put oh. Quincy! What happened? Yo, chill out, chill out, dude. You bought this trash shit? <laughs> Yo, I'm dying, bro. I'm dying. But yeah, I'll do y'all later.
All right, guys. <laughs> Hi. So you guys are probably wondering why I am back. Obviously, I'm back at home. I'm in the infamous closet, and my hair is wet. It's washed and all clean. It looks like I'm settled in, right? It's a completely different day. Um, and you know, I was really rooting for it. Okay, I wanted to come back and in this video with some exciting news, maybe a fun little story that we could laugh about. Ha ha. He he. And you know, end out the video. You know, nice New York vlog. K. Okay, period. End it on a good no so after we got off the plane yesterday it was yesterday um you know after our second flight i was expecting to film you know get one last clip of us in the airport with me rolling away my suitcase <laughs> except the suitcase wasn't there we landed they had trouble with one of the whatchamacallits the belts that pull out the suitcases and everything they had problems with one of them that was the one where my suitcase was supposed to come out of right so it was like multiple flights backed up their baggage wasn't coming out because that belt was broken so they moved them group by group they called my group and they tell me to move to a different boat right okay i'm thinking i'm finna grab my bags we're gonna dip or my bag i get there we're watching all the bags come out we confirmed that it was from our flight the bags that were coming out people from my flight were grabbing their bags said fort lauderdale on them right <laughs> It gets closer to the end. The bags start coming out slower and slower and then stuff stops coming out. Nothing's coming out. The belt's still going <laughs> and nothing came out. My bag has yet to be seen, right? Tell me why my bag never came out. Tell me why my suitcase never came out. My big old suitcase that it took with me it didn't come out. Where is it? So we go to the front desk or whatever. They were already having so much trouble. Everybody was, you know, like the belt was broken there was a flight that was waiting on their bags to come out for two and a half hours because the belt was broke i don't know what my camera just did but okay they was waiting on their bags to come out for two and a half hours because the belt broke and they couldn't figure it out so they were already rambling and then i'm like so where the hell is my where's my bag at okay so we go up to the thing and they're like oh it's still in fort lauderdale they forgot to put it on the flight it'll come tomorrow because we did have a connecting flight i was wondering like maybe they just didn't put it on the on the ticket up or whatever that we were new jersey to fort lauderdale to atlanta but i checked the ticket receipt sticker thing and it says atlanta it was supposed to come straight to atlanta if you don't know anything about flying when you have a layover you check your bag in you let them know that you have a layover and they take care of the bags you should not have to worry about going to get your bag you know because sometimes the connecting flights are like just a few minutes apart how are you gonna go all the way from your flight to baggage claim pick up your bag recheck it get that on the plane and then make it on for boarding in time it's not gonna happen so you're not supposed to have to worry about it so i wasn't worrying about it the whole time though i had a feeling in my head the whole time we were in florida y'all know we was in florida for a long time okay our layover was like four hours we landed at in florida i think i like one something and didn't board again for our next flight until 5 30. we were there for a long time and the whole time in the back of my head i was like maybe i should go check on my bag but i was like i was just saying it was my anxiety i was overthinking you know i do that a lot so i was like cure it chill out it's perfectly fine i need to figure out what my tuition is and what my anxiety is and separate the two because i knew i should have went to check on it and i didn't anyways i just didn't want to close out the vlog last night because after we talked to the people they're like it's gonna be on a flight in the morning morning coming to atlanta from fort lauderdale it'll be here at 9 a.m i was like okay cool whatever leave it alone leave it in their hands have a little faith in them maybe they can get their their mess together right um also my boyfriend's mom works at the airport so she was like yeah when i come in for work i'll just pick it up and have whistler bring it to you whatever whistler's my boyfriend's name anyways so she was like we can do it that way and i was like you know it's cool it makes me feel better she actually works here she can like talk to them you know get it together right then <laughs> i get a call this morning you know i didn't worry about it i actually woke up like later it was like 11 i think when i actually woke up because i was so tired exhausted so you know i wasn't worried about it i'm not gonna put any any energy into negative things so i'm just gonna you know wait for them to call me i know whistler's mom works there and she'll make sure that it gets to me right um whistler calls me well i call him um you know he was working and he goes we were talking like a normal cute little talk like i love you oh my gosh good morning and then he goes 
Um, so your bag didn't come. My mom was at work and it didn't come on the flight. So he went ahead and reported that the bag was missing. I really pray that it's not missing, but he went ahead and reported that it was missing just so that they're doing a little bit more. His mom went and talked to management this morning as well. They said it's going to be coming in on the next flight or something, but I just have this feeling in the back of my head. Like after we got off the plane from New Jersey to Fort Lauderdale, they probably sent it to baggage claim so they probably just weren't paying attention to it is what i'm thinking they just saw the tag and you know just went ahead and put sent it to baggage claim in florida now if that happened the chances of somebody just picking it up is is so high they still in florida okay if it was there and somebody noticed that it was it just kept going around they probably picked it up and swiped it and if they did they really lucked up because i had two pairs of jordans in there jordan ones and <laughs> y'all know how valuable jordan ones are nowadays both of them are literally brand new pairs brand new perfect condition two brand new pairs of jordans air force ones were in there y'all know air force ones are pretty valuable right now they're so hard to get nowadays because every Everybody wants them and if they got those they can up charge them a lot more too so they have three pairs of shoes that are valuable they also have my Michael Kors bag that my boyfriend got me for our anniversary in there a really nice bag they have a wig in there pretty valuable I mean it's been worn but we went to the mall so I have some clothes in there that I like brand new clothes and plus all the clothes that I had brought to wear and I brought multiple outfits do y'all get what I'm saying like it's adding up the money the value of this suitcase is adding up and if somebody found it looked in it and saw that there's no way that they're bringing that back so oh plus i have all of my makeup in there luckily i'm a makeup porter and i have plenty of makeup in my drawers now like more than enough to you know be satisfied but you know makeup ain't cheap and that was in there too <laughs> so yeah all this being said they don't really know where my bag is i feel like they're just telling whistler's mom that it's there but if they really did just send it out to baggage claim some the chances of some Somebody swiping it is like over the moon so i'm hoping that they find it at this point i do not know where it is and i'm like really bummed out like you should have seen me yesterday when i seen that it didn't come off the thing <laughs> silence i ain't no back so like so hopefully they find my bag if not i'm claiming that my bag was missing and i'm probably gonna add a few things anyways i just came on here to end the video i really wanted to end this on a you know a lighter note but i also wanted to start filming another video today and i needed to make sure that this video was closed out before i forgot so i didn't want to have to wait any longer so sorry for the negative energy but you know send some positive energy my way and hopefully my bag is returned to me with nothing missing even if it does come back and nothing's missing i probably will still report this something's missing i'm gonna lie um <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just trying to stay positive. I'm about to film a video that'll probably help me. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content before this. And, you know, it's going to be a pretty long one because I was in New York. I left Wednesday. I was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then came back Monday. So I was there for six days, almost a full week. And wow, that's actually crazy. I also talk a lot. Like this clip is already 13 minutes. So I know that there's plenty of footage. So it's probably going to be a pretty long video. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed everything up to this point maybe you even got a laugh out of me losing my bag <laughs> but i'm just gonna pray about it and you know not feed energy into negative things so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in the future if you like the travel vlogs and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys